Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I hope that you're doing well. I have this beautiful kit called, um, what's it called? <laughs> I forget the name. Sorry, I'm moving way too fast here. It's a peach kit from Hello Petit Paper. And um, if I remember the name, I will drop it down below. But I am so excited to be using this kit just because one, I haven't used a Hello Petit Paper kit in a while. And it was definitely a challenge, let me just say that. I think um, using a kit in a format that you're not used to using regularly is always going to be a challenge simply because it's a different format. Um, and the other thing is the paper type. So I know she has premium matte now, but it was a little bit different than what I'm used to. She is an international shop. I believe she's out in Portugal. Um, but absolutely fun to use. It was nice to be challenged and I loved the size of her florals. It was just really, really fun to utilize all of the different clip art pieces and things like that. Um, I do have a code with her. It's Rachel10 for 10% 10 off, but I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Like <laughs> I challenged myself and I struggled a lot with this plan with me. That's probably why there was a significant break in time from my last plan with me because I really didn't feel like editing, um, <laughs> just in general. I haven't really been feeling like planning, editing, and um, I even did this as a plans change live with Tay recently too. So you'll see all of Wednesday and a part of Thursday is done off camera because I did that on an Instagram live. So if you're interested, you can check that out over on my Instagram at Gathered Plans. But this was incredibly challenging. I I tried to do something different this time. As you can see, I didn't start with the bottom washi. So I took a page from Tay's book and she has done amazing, beautiful things down here in the sidebar section. So basically what I wanted to do was try to, you know, emulate her style and do a cute little scene down here using the journaling page. I loved the journaling page. It was incredibly fun and, and very, very different. Um, so this appropriately was also Tay's birthday week so it was perfect to kind of do something inspired by her. Um, this was also the week that we went peach picking and I was like I need to use a peach kit. It's just only appropriate to do that. Um, but I will say one of the other challenging things was one I wasn't really the biggest fan of the bottom washi. That's kind of what prompted me initially to try to do something different. I just felt like the bottom washi was a little too busy for my liking. And there was like splatter foil and um, a really busy pattern. And for me, it just, it was a little bit too much. I put it down originally and then I lifted it up. I actually tore the paper. So if you have commitment issues, <laughs> be mindful. I don't know if her paper um, is not as forgiving when it comes to like repositioning stickers. I reposition stickers all the time. Be very careful. Some of the stickers were fine coming up, but then I felt like the bottom washi was the only exception where it would not come up. I had to use undo and it tore my paper down there. So it's okay. Thankfully I have undo. Hopefully you do too. So I don't want the challenges to sound like this was not a beautiful kit by any means. I just want to be transparent on my channel. Um, I just had a lot of challenges personally just because I really do get into a routine when it comes to planning, especially when I use, you know, the same shops and kind of cycle them out. But um, this format altogether was just challenging because it was new and different than what I was used to. So she does offer eight full boxes. One of them is Kiss Cut, and that's what I used in the sidebar. That really threw me off, um, not because, I don't know why it threw me off. It's just a different shape. <laughs> but I think it just threw me off because um, it just was a different format altogether. And then also, this would have been f for any shop, right? Like, this is an orange kit, which I don't use a lot of orange in general. So that was challenging in itself. I'm so happy I kept this cute little clip art piece from Jackson Pepper. It's got like an orange dress and some sandals and things like that. So that was really cute and fun to be able to pull that in. It was a little bit, um, it wasn't as saturated of an orange, but it still worked in my opinion. I think it was kind of nice to have that contrast. Um, and that's kind of why I like doing this. Like I do enjoy, and lately I've been craving using a different shop kit um, and just challenging myself because I kind of just get into this groove, you know, of doing the same things over and over again. And I've been telling myself like, Rachel, do something a little bit different, get out of your comfort zone. So um, that's kind of why I was like, let me go ahead and try to do something with the bottom washi section instead of just completely saying no to the kit just because 
I was intimidated by it. Um, I made it work, right? So instead of not doing anything um, or just like sticking with the bottom washi section, I went ahead and just pulled my Instagram up and got inspiration from others, and especially Tay, you know, with the bottom washi deco, and I just made it work. Um, and that's kind of something that I did as well. And my next plan with me is you'll see that I actually started to do a freeform day cover section. I've seen so many people doing it. I think one of the very first people I've seen honestly doing it is Tay and then um, the Paper Trail Plans um, duo. And um, sorry, sorry, Jess and Sue. <laughs> um, super awesome and incredibly beautiful what they do. And I've always just been intimidated, but I also didn't have the proper... Uh, stickers like I didn't have any of the individual days so I finally grabbed some from paper trail plans and I hopped on that wagon and I'm really liking how it looks so far and it's really pretty so just know if you don't like the bottom washi or the day covers or something like that and you want to spruce it up you can absolutely make it work especially with all the deco and journaling pages that come with kits nowadays um, I know most of them are add-ons but at the same time you can play around with what you have in your collection I think kind of adding shapes up there to add some dimension and um, just switching it up. I think it's really fun and really cool. So there's so much that you can do. And I think <laughs> if I can do it, trust me, you can do it. I've been so intimidated. I kind of hopped on that wagon with the freeform day cover section pretty late. Like I've always been decorating my day covers for like a year now since like that trend kind of popped off last year. But um, I think just in regards to not using the day covers that come with a kit, I really only started doing that when I started doing the Gathered Layers um, collab with Panda Bird Design and then doing the freeform scripts. Just literally this plan with me that I'm doing next, not the one you're seeing yet. But I really like how that's turning out um, and I'm excited. And you kind of have to look at all of your sticker sheets and be like, what can I do with this to make this a little bit different? Um, that's what I did. Like if I see a beautiful journaling page and I don't want to use it in my sidebar. I think it's super inspiring and fun to use it in your bottom washi section and or the day cover section. You'll see whenever you, um, whenever I upload that next plan with me, but I'm loving how it turns out. I might actually post it on my Instagram before the video goes up. Oh my gosh, is that? No, I am just seeing this. There's, <laughs> oh my God, there is a date number on Monday. That's like stuck on the day cover. I didn't, how did I, wow. I guess I didn't notice that when I was planning. It's fine. It's fine. I'll probably go back and take it off now. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, I hope I didn't take a picture with that because <laughs> this is driving me crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So um, <laughs> I know I kind of talked through the plans. I'm so sorry about that. But what I will say too is I was so excited to pull in these midi boxes from Sadie Stickers. The colors matched so, so well, like tangerine and melon or something like that. I don't remember. Um, sorry for that noise. Someone is banging something in the kitchen. Um, but I will say I did later on trim down the border of those midi boxes and it looks a little bit more dainty and not as like bold. Um, just because it threw off this entire spread, I was kind of planning with it and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm too lazy to like take it back up because I was tearing my paper. But you know, after I did it one time at the end of the week, I was like, okay, now I have to go back and redo it. This is just to tell you, if you wanna do something, do it sooner than later before you put a sticker down and wait till you know the end of the week to make adjustments because just like stick, to your guns. You know what I mean? Like if you don't like it, if you want to change it, just do it. <laughs> don't second guess yourself. I think like we're doing this to be happy and I should have totally done that versus just being lazy and being like, it's fine, whatever. I don't care. But really I did care because later on I went and cut it up and trimmed every single one that I used throughout the week. And it was way more work trying to fix it than not. So yeah. But anyways, on Monday was uh, Tay's birthday. So I wanted to mark that. And then it was also Jess's birthday of Panda Bird Design on Tuesday. Um, so I just kind of marked that similarly using the same like uh, oval from Crafts by Taui. I love those scallop ovals. You guys know how much I've always loved ovals. I think they're such a perfect midi shape. Um, took Jace on a walk and then I also did a self-care night this night. Um, so it was really fun. And like I said, Wednesday and most of Thursday I did on an Instagram live for plans change with Tay. It's an Instagram live like podcast plan with me kind of thing. Um, it was really nice to just sit back, plan and chat with Tay again. We haven't done that in a while, so that was really cool. Uh, what happened? So on Thursday, I had a bagel and a nitro cold brew. It was really cool to finally use my bagel stickers from Waiter Stationery. 
had four meetings, took a nap, um, worked legs and did some cardio. Um, and then here you'll see that I do switch out the leash icon with some of the sandals that come with the kit because they're colored. Something I try not to do is put white foiled icons or like just any white foiled sticker on top of white foiled boxes. I try to like alternate it. Like um, if I'm going to use a foiled white icon, I'm going to go ahead and put it on a colored box and vice versa. So I didn't like how it was just like too much of that. Sometimes I can't help it. Like if an icon I'm using, I only have it in foil or I only have it in color. So like it is what it is, but I try to have that contrast so it looks a little bit more balanced because you'll see I think it was a little too much white and foil going on when I was just marking Walking Jays. So you'll see me switch that up later. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about with the midi boxes. I really wish I trimmed the borders just using my X-Acto knife and a ruler beforehand, but that's what happens when you get lazy. So <laughs> anyways, um, so what have you guys been up to? I haven't really done a plan with me in a while. It feels like forever. I think it's been like a week or two, um, maybe even less, but it feels way longer. I just haven't really been in the mood. I, I just have not been enjoying planning and filming like just it feels like a chore right now so I'm taking a step back and really listening to myself and to my needs um, and setting boundaries where if I'm not in the mood to do it I'm not going to force myself to do it because that's just I'm just going to keep adding to it feeling like a chore um, but I'm I think I'm kind of like in a okay place right now where I'm kind of excited to plan but like at the same time I really don't have like an itch or a crave for it um, and it just could be that I have a lot going on personally and a lot of things coming up, like we have a trip coming up. I have a lot of things, um, you know, happening in my career and stuff like that. So I've just been really not focused on my hobby. And also on top of that, my desk situation is so messy. There are stickers everywhere. It is not organized anymore. And that frustrates me. I haven't had time to really sit down and like put everything in all of my um, Ray and Tay sleeves just because I've been so busy and not in the mood to look at stickers and organize them. Um, and also I have been on this kick of organizing like all of my cabinets throughout my house. So I like went on this huge thing of watching a ton of organizing, cleaning, deep cleaning videos on YouTube. I went down that rabbit hole. Um, I bought the most affordable things I could find from Target, um, the Dollar Tree, just Amazon, um, Ross, TJ Maxx, places like that, home goods, stuff like that, just to find the most affordable organizational things just to put away in cabinets. Like, here's my thing. I love the concept of having everything matching. Like I watch, I, I haven't watched the show Home Edit, but I, I've heard of it. I've seen it. Um, people talk and rave about it and it's satisfying to watch, but I'm sorry. I, I refuse to spend too much money to organize something in a closet or a cabinet that's just going to be closed and to each their own like not judging if you do that if you got it you do you boo like all the power to you I just I just can't wrap my head around that like acrylics um cabinets like nice things like that can be so pricey that's why when I saw on Amazon they had they were having um not Amazon sorry Target I've never done a same day delivery from Target before but I finally did and it was everything was on sale like I was getting like acrylic drawers for six dollars and I was buying as many as I needed um, probably bought the rest that was available in the shop um, or in the store and I'm so happy because I felt like I got the most out of my money and I got quality things and that's also another thing like I also wasn't gonna um, just completely just get like Dollar Tree stuff that were flimsy and that we're going to break because I've done that before like when I first moved into our house we just got Dollar Tree stuff to organize things under sinks and stuff like that which it's fine Dollar Tree has some great things and you can totally do amazing DIY hacks but for me I was looking for things that were affordable but also decent quality that was going to last me a long time and also organizing in a way that I was going to like seeing for a long period of time because I don't know about you but I change my mind a lot and I get bored um, and I switch things around so I definitely wanted something that I was going to consistently like for a long period of time. So there's always kind of like that battle. Like, do you just get the absolute cheapest thing, right? Um, but do you want it to last? And of course, like you do whatever you can within your own parameters, um, like for several factors, right? Like financially, whatever it is that you have, um, 
there's no right or wrong way. And I've done so much research. I've watched so many videos, um, seeing how many ways I can do things in the most affordable way too. And definitely do your research. If you're in the mood to do a ton of decluttering, organizing, stuff like that, it's so worth it. It is so satisfying to see the end result, let me tell you. And it actually will kind of force you to keep it up. Like when you see something so tidy and clean, you almost always will tidy up just because you don't want to undo the work you did. I don't know if that makes any sense psychologically or whatever, but that's what's been happening for me. Like my bathroom sink and under like the top of my sink, all of my drawers and under my sink look so awesome. Like when I see it, I'm like, okay, I can't just like throw something in here. Now I have to like be intentional about where I put it and make it neat and wipe my counters down often because I want it to constantly look neat. Um, and that's really great, you know, and it's awesome because I feel like I can find things. I also was able to find things I didn't know I had. <laughs> so I could kind of do a proper inventory of my supplies, like toiletries, um, cleaning supplies, things like that. So I recommend it. Um, if you don't feel the need to like watch the home edit or things like that, because it's intimidating and it makes you feel bad about what you can what you can have or can't have that's for me too like i i couldn't watch it just because i was like this isn't realistic for me like i can't maintain that i can't afford that um and i don't want to make myself feel bad um because i can't have it you know what i mean so just do your research watch youtube videos on affordable ways to do organizing and storage and it'll be great but anyway sorry i blabbed through the whole thing thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you next time bye